light. Visibility of objects. Did you see anything? No, right? Let's switch on the light. Now we can see everything. What happened exactly? Eyes alone cannot see any object. It is the light which helps us to see various objects around us. We cannot see a tree until and unless the reflected sunlight from tree reaches our eyes. So, when light from an object enters our eyes, then that object is visible to us. What is this reflection? How it occurs? Let's find out more about it. Laws of Reflection a ray of light from a light source changes its direction of propagation and bounces back when it falls on a smooth shining object. This phenomenon of bouncing back of light from a surface is called reflection of light. Reflection of light occurs on all types of surfaces, whether shiny or not. A ray of light from a source that falls on an object is called an incident ray of light. The ray of light that bounces back from the surface of an object is called a reflected ray of light. The point on the surface where the incident ray strikes the surface is called the point of incidence. A line drawn perpendicular on the surface of the object at the point of incidence is called the normal at the point of incidence. The angle that an incident ray makes with the normal at point of incidence is called the angle of incidence. An angle of incidence is usually denoted by angle I. The angle that a reflected ray makes with the normal at point of incidence is called the angle of reflection. An angle of reflection is usually denoted by angle R. Do you see any relation between the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection? The angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. This is known as the first law of reflection. This can be proved by measuring various angle of incidence and angle of reflection with the help of protractor. Take a look at the activity. Laser beam is stroked on the mirror and reflected. If we take out the paper sheet, it will have incident ray, reflected ray and normal. Incident ray, reflected ray and normal lie on the same sheet. The incident ray the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. This is second law of reflection. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. When light from an object enters our eyes, then that object is visible to us. Bouncing back of light from a surface is called Reflection of light. A ray of light from a source that falls on an object is called an incident ray of light. A line drawn perpendicular on the surface of the object at the point of incidence is called the normal. The angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. The incident ray, the normal at the point of incidence, and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane.